Also, your uh, also your green, your green screen is on your shirt. My green screen is on my shirt. That's right. It's 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 this one. You you you've been bad. You you did it. You done did it. You've been bad. You don't get the green screen on YouTube again. <laughs> Here's what happens. The green screen comes back if you go to YouTube and leave one like. If there's any more than one like, green screen stays away. If there's zero likes, goes away. One like, one like on the on 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 this episode on YouTube and the green screen comes back and I take it off my shirt forever. What's in the bag behind me? What's in that trash bag? That big trash bag that's clearly filled with stuff. What's in that garbage bag? <laughs> we don't know. You don't know. I know. It's not for you to know, dear listener, but let me tell you, uh, welcome to this. This is a show. Gracie. Hi. Hi. This is After Dark Rye. And I'm in bar. my car. She's in, this is After Dark Rye Mobile. Uh, uh, After Dark Rye what? Shadow Legends Extreme Caught Roadside Edition. Gracie is taking us on a little field trip. Uh, Gracie, you look lovely today. Um, Thank you. I cut off all my hair. I see that you got a haircut. You got a, 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 a lip piercing in. Your eyes are flashing with all of the spirit of, of a young lady with with nothing to lose. And you're Bonnie and Clyde in that car straight over the Grand Canyon off a cliff, right? Mm-hmm. Right, right. And and mm-hmm. funny enough, my house is directly at the bottom. Uh so my name's Brett. This is a No Holds Barred, No Nothing podcast. We're talking about Pokemon and Hearth, the ones we love. And baby, Gracie, guess what? We love everyone. Oh, we do. She got it. See, she's done this show once or twice. Um, Gracie, what's new with you other than, you know, you got a brand new this? do. Oh, You're yeah. So my apartment at university is on the edge of 4G and 5G. And the oh. Wi-Fi sucks. It's just edging. So if I... So if I try, yeah, it's edging real hard. Yeah, it's getting, mm-hmm. clo- getting close. So close. Mm-hmm. So if I try to use my phone data over there, it craps out. And if I try to use the Wi-Fi there, it craps out. So I was like, well, shit, I'm going to have to go. So I just went to the parking lot and it worked. So. You know what, Gracie, you have my undying love and gratitude for, for the mm-hmm. de- sheer dedication of of uh coming to the show uh anyway um so many others would just be like hey let's uh let's push it back for another six months <laughs> no i made i made a dedicate i like i felt bad because i was like i can't get my fi- wi-fi to work right but i made it work well i'm i'm proud of you uh you dear listener go go say you're proud of gracie somehow some way just, just that one guy named greg Please Greg, show me your problem. Greg, please log into Twitter, create an account, follow Lady Z Rain, and then mm-hmm. just tweet at her that says, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Yeah, that's thanks. All, that's, that's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Yeah. And then we can even retire the show is, forever. Even if your name isn't Greg, I'll, I'll still take it. So here's your homework, dear listener. You have to like this video once, no more. Just one. Just one. Then you get the green screen back. Then you go get your buddy Greg. Tell him about the show. And then have him follow uh, Gracie at Lady Z Rain on Twitter and send in a tweet that says, I'm proud of you. No other context that's needed. I, that's all I need. Yep. And then the show retires mm-hmm. forever. We can pack it up. Yep, we're done. Walk into the sunset. Oh, Fire my gosh. Yeah. Grace, mm-hmm. Gracie. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, boy. How'd you do with uh, the stuffles? Hmm? Mm-hmm. Stuffle Actually, community. Actually, okay. Happened. So I only had to play for two of the three hours because i had my kiddo mm-hmm. the rain the, the reigning supreme the king mm-hmm. of dark mm-hmm. rye yes yes and he took a nap but not until later anyway so um i did okay i think i got like 12 shinies and a couple i don't know i don't even know if it's going to be pvp relevant because it's normal fighting which is not a great combo to be honest but i mean I did okay. I got, I care, really cared about the XP and the Stardust is what mm. I really cared about. Me, same. So. I got, uh, I also got 12 shinies. Good. I got a beastly Pokemon or pff, beastly stuff. They're all Pokemon. Beastly Stuffle. Hey, hang on a second. 
the second one I caught, second shiny I caught, I think was a three star. So I just went ahead and evolved it because hey. 2,545 CP. Yeah, like I, I always try to evolve high CP and then also a shiny and also PvP relevant. That's the three that I care about. I, you know me, I'm a dex collector mostly. Um, okay. I'm, I'm kind of to the point now where the secondary mode that I enjoy this game is raids. And I'm not a hardcore raider by any stretch. Um, once I'm out of passes, I'm out of passes. Um, but Do you use PvP? Or not PV nope. Poke, uh, Poke Genie. Not not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. Get at us. Not sponsored. If, if you but, want me to use, no. if you want me to poke, poke your Poke, Poke not not PV Poke. PV Poke, get at us for sponsorship. Uh, we will talk. We will we will do what we can. <laughs> Poke Genie, I used to use actually, and and here's why. Yeah, that's what so, I meant. That's what I meant. I wanted to be an effective raider, and I would basically now I have all the various Pokemon I need to fill out a good mm -hmm. raiding team. Yeah, that's it kinda, important. It kind of doesn't matter who I'm raiding against. Like, I have... TV, yeah. I have high CP counters for just about everything raid-wise. So okay. I can usually just go rock the recommended and take out whatever without even paying attention. Um, especially if there's, like, three or four other people in the raid on a legendary raid. Easy peasy. Right. So since that that's... Uh, kind of done there's really nothing else left for me to do but fill the decks i i guess i could do megas mega raids but it's just it's kind of been difficult to get a ton of people interested because it if it takes more than like four or five i'm kind of on the struggle bus my group is kind of right. in that uh where everyone's kind of getting fatigued a little bit so well, and that's why that's the only reason really why I use Poke Genie is because if it's something like my small town, if everyone's burnt out, but I still don't have that shiny or if I don't have a good IV, I don't know, whatever. I'm like, well, uh, invite. Did you manage to beat speaking of poking? Uh, did you manage to beat Giovanni, that sweet crime daddy? No, nope. you couldn't do it. With the well, shadow I can't. I, I don't have it. Oh, yeah, I did that one. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. What I are you have talking another, about? Oh, I have another research. I think it's for Lugia. Oh, okay. That's the one or before no, this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I oh. did I did silver, so I did Lugia, but now I'm doing... It's like you have to do so many research battles or whatever for mm -hmm. rocket shit, and then you do Giovanni again, but he has... Ho uh oh in that one okay i haven't so, done, i haven't done that one yet but i, just, I did i did latias and i was very underwhelmed it's fine uh just whatever on me uh latias kicked the shit out of me i gave up after really? the third after the third attempt so you can get some ice shit you gotta get some ice shit in there okay well you know my shits are steamy um mine's ice cold to brick so i was thinking along the lines that, like I think my strong... I don't even know what my strongest ice type is. Maybe that's a deficiency of... Mine. Articuno? Uh, Mine's let's Articuno. See. Let's see, let's see. Let's just. But I also have a best ice. buddy, Articuno, for GBL Master League. Okay, I have a Glaceon at 3,093. A lucky, a lucky Glaceon. That's not bad. Glass Cannon, and I got a 1,000 Mammoth Swines and other Glaceons and a Curum. Yeah. They're not the greatest, Mammoth but... Mammoth Swine's good. But, I mean, the way I thought about it was Tyranitar is dark type, Latias mm -hmm. is psychic, Latias mm -hmm. is flying type, Tyranitar is rock. So, like, I should be able to bring out, like, okay, so. Not if I, it has, yeah, go ahead. No, you go ahead. You you tell me what ha what I did wrong. Well, no, because, like, Persian is in the front, so you need something with fighting in the beginning. Okay. To I, use... it, well, I, I usually use Melmetal because it. Fast... I was literally going to say, I use Melmetal. Yeah, Mel Mel Metal's a good inter or like I Rock start with something else and then I transfer into Mel Metal because it delays the first two moves or whatever. This first is two how counts. I, so you you're basically outlining exactly how I beat him the fourth the fourth attempt. So my okay. so my closer for the fourth attempt, I started yeah. off to give him a little bit of charge because it takes a long time to to power up Draco Meteor. Then I swapped to Melmetal, who tanked the shit out of Persian and almost mm -hmm. killed Gyarados, too. 
Um, oh, yeah, because of Rock Slide. Yeah. So almost got Gyarados. So Darkrai came in. Wait, what the fuck did you just say? What did you call him? What did I say? Gyarados? 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 He's a guy. Gyarados? G- Gyarados. You. Why? You're the guy under. There's no you. You know what, Gracie? Just because you're Miss Highly Educated and stuff, doesn't mean you can come up into my show. Well, our show and talk down to me because I dropped out of college. Actually, okay. okay, no, I legit don't know. I just call it Gyarados. I don't even know that's legit, Look, but that's I'm, what I call him. I'm from West Virginia, and here, obviously, uh, here we we say Gyarados. Actually, Do you I really? I don't know if people, other people here, say that or not, but uh, I've heard Gyarados, but I've never heard Gyarados. Yeah, because it has an extra A in there somewhere. I've I've never heard that in my life. Okay, well, kind of I call it Gyarados. <laughs> Gyarados. Gay, ray, gay rays. All the gay rays. I'm going to look it up right now. Do we it. got so super sidetracked. So I ended up, uh, so Dark Rye came in, finished off Gyarados. Okay. And uh, Gyarados basically was going to get one shotted yeah. by Latias. I managed to get the charge move off, which dealt half of Latias's health. And then. Diaga came in, and just before Diaga uh, was killed, Draco Meteor. Um, just barely made it. But my my guy, Gyarados? Tyranitar, who Gyarados? is, oh. is t- double type advantage versus the Latias, was killed. By the way, 3,900 plus CP killed in okay. two fast attacks by a Latias. What is that shit? Two fast what attacks. What did it have? I have no idea. I couldn't figure it out. It just Charm? Said, oh, was it a was it a fairy move? Because that's very probable. Oh, it could have been a fairy move. I couldn't figure it out. I was like, there's no way this thing has like an ice it move. Has or be, it has to be. No, it has to be a, a fairy move. Lord. All right. Julian Miguel, our savior. Our lord and savior, Julian Miguel, is going to come on and tell us how to say Gyarados. Gyarados? Gyarados? Mm-hmm. Gyarados? Mm-hmm. You can hear that, right? We Failing are looking you. at how to pronounce the oh. name of this Pokemon. So, <laughs> the official pronunciation Pokemon. is as Garydose. <laughs> Somewhat like Gary and Dose. Gary Dose! Gary Dose! Gary Dose! Gary in the spelling. The Y after the G and the A. But, yes, this is the official pronunciation gary does did you get Gyarados. it do you pronounce it any other ways Let- gary does thank you so much uh julian miguel oh, you man. know what it reminds me of you have you ever great. like okay like i have never seen like a lot but like spongebob like gary the snail <laughs> but gary does gary does oh i'm gonna i need to i need to name a gary does gary does now gary does <laughs> Meow. Like, just like the meowing. Incredible. Uh, speaking of, of scheming silently, I forgot to claim my rewards for beating him yesterday. Mm. Oh, yay. Ooh, yay, ooh, yay, ooh, yay. Lucky egg in my basket. Mm. We should have done an Easter special, Gracie. Why didn't we do that? We could have took back okay. Easter from the Christians and given it back That's to Mother like, Earth. That's religion. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, so Gracie, guess what I did again? Tell me. What takes 30 days of consecutive, um, (laughs) I fucking forgot. I fucking forgot again. I got up to about four or five days and fucking forgot. I'm never get, I'm never going to beat it. I'm going to start texting you every day and be like, did you do it? I, 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 I. I'm never going to, never going to get to do this. It's too, it's just not going to happen for me. It's not going to happen. Why would they do this? They hate you. They make Latias a bitch and then they make me play their game for 30 days in a row. Make this isn't, you their bitch. This is isn't how, happen. this isn't how I want to engage with this game. I don't want to feel like I'm doing work. I want to feel like I'm having fun and I'm not having fun. This isn't fun. I do my buddy occasionally. I don't want to be handcuffed to, 
feeding it yeah. all the time. Like, like I have a dog. And I, I have a dog. Her. And I, I feed already her. have a pet. I don't need this shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Gracie, some news just came out. Just broke. What? Breaking news. Breaking news. Brum, brum, brum. Brum, 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 brum. Um, hang on a second. Oh, it's Dev is Diaries. It a, mega thing? A, a mega update to Mega Evolution oh. in Pokemon Go is coming soon. It's about to go live in Australia and New Zealand, which is typically Niantic's testing grounds for new features. They're the guinea pigs, if you will. Oof. Get it? New Guinea. Hey. Oh, I get it now. Yeah. That was terrible. You're in college. Do better. You're in college. Uh, uh, Let's see here. What are these changes about? Most mega raids will be easier. You can now take them on with fewer people. Hey, that speaks to me. That's pretty good. I, You know what? While we're on the subject, I don't want to sound like a whiny little bitch who just doesn't want to engage. But you do. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, first of all, Gracie, rude. Second of all, I was going to say, I prefer, like, bring back EX raids and make those the ones that need a lot of people. Because they have a day and a time that you need to show up. Well, what if you right? can't make it? Well, usually, like, how many people get the inv- used to get the invite for EX raids? I don't know. It was... Like it was 20? Maybe more. I don't remember. But usually it felt like people made an effort to go do it. Right. And you and you'd have yeah. at least at least 10 people show up. I feel like that's more like an event. Whereas for like mega mega raids, it's like, hey, do I got eight friends that want to do a mega Pidgeot? No, I don't have like eight friends. <laughs> um that's why you're so You'll be able to mega evolve your Pokemon from raid and battle prep screens. Hey, that's actually a really good, nice quality of life change. Uh yeah. I- I forget to mega mega evolve for community days and whatnot every single time. I can't remember to give my buddy a treat. Like uh, I didn't mega evolve for Stuffle. I I forgot. Oh, I, did. I totally forgot. I should have. Some low bunny. Uh, Pokemon you have mega evolved before will now have an additional visual effect added to their information page to commemorate oh. this momentous achievement. Whoop de doo. We're implementing mega levels and changing how mega energy is used. Mega levels. Oh, mega. man. That doesn't sound like what do you what do you think mega levels is? Maybe like you can power it up while it's mega, but it doesn't stay. Oh lord. Because that's what we need know. is more XL candy sinks. Or stardust shit. Yeah, no shit. Uh I finally just got back over two mil. Leave my two milli alone. What? You have what two you mil? At? I have two mil stardust, yeah. Hey, if you don't PvP, what else are you going to do with it? I don't have any. I just. I think I have 80,000. I know what you're doing, Gracie. You're you're laying out that pocket mirror, and you're putting like what? the side of your face down to it with a little... Yeah, a little mirror. What is mm-hmm. it? Describe to me what this little thing you're doing with your hand is. What? How? Chopping just, onions? Just, chopping some just onions? Making it, making it real fine, real you're fine chop, dust. Chopping some nice powdery. Um, yeah, you're just chopping some veggies, and then you. Have, mm-hmm. <coughs> oh God, I made myself cough. <coughs> smarties, smarties it up. That's some good shit. Uh, no, you're in college. It's chalk, clearly. Oh, chalk. It mm-hmm. mm-hmm. makes you smart. Take it direct, straight to the brain. Um, mm-hmm. let's see here. Every time you mega evolve a Pokemon, you work towards a cr- increasing its mega level. You'll get more bonuses every time a Pokemon's mega level goes up, and these bonuses will stay active while you are evolved. Oh. So each mega level grants various bonuses. Bonuses vary by Pokemon, and all bonuses will improve as the mega level is increased. Hmm. So in- the existing bonuses are uh, increased candy when you catch Pokemon that are the same type as your, as your mega. While attacking with a Mega in a raid battle or a gym battle, the attacks of other trainer Pokemon challenging that same raid or gym will deal more damage. Their Pokemon's attacks will deal even more damage if the attack is the same type as your Megas. And the new bonuses are increased chance of earning XL candy when you catch Pokemon that are the same type as your Mega. That's cool. Increased XP for catching Pokemon that are the same type as your Mega. 
and, mm-hmm. a po- and a Pokemon's rest period decreases as its mega level increases. Oh, okay. What are you awing? What does that even mean? What is a Pokemon's rest period? Like how how often you can mega evolve it? People mega evolve right? like do they just chain mega evolve a thing? Like I don't know. Oh, I okay. mean, I don't I don't do it, but maybe other people do. Uh, after mega evolving, your Pokemon will be fatigued and need time before it can mega evolve again. Once this rest period is over, the the mega evolve can See? Uh, can again. Excuse me. Once this rest period is over, the Pokemon can mega evolve again without using mega energy. Oh. What? I don't know. Okay, so it sounds like you still need the mega energy to mega evolve the, the first time. And then after, then after that, that you don't. free, and you can just wait for it to come off cooldown and make it. Now that I like. Yeah. Daddy like that. Mm. Daddy like that much. Daddy going to give it my mega energy. Uh, I hate you. As my shirt flashes. and can... Look, it looks like there's like a thunderstorm in my chest. Like. You ready for the thunder and lightning? And then it doesn't work. There it goes. <laughs> you can use mega energy to decrease a Pokemon's rest period. Okay. Mm-hmm. The mega energy required to mega evolve a Pokemon will decrease as its rest period becomes shorter. So there you go. If you want to speed up the process, you just use... You you can spend your mega energy to mega evolve again, or you can just wait for it to come off cooldown. It does not say how long this period of time is, however. So I'm wondering if it's like once a day or something. I really like these changes, though. It makes me more interested in megas, and and I do want them. I just don't want to like have to round up half my small town to get to it. Um, Hopefully, I'll be able to finally get that Mega Hound Doom of my dreams. Oh, please, Daddy, make it so. Please, please, give me the Hound Doom, Daddies. Uh, we lost Gracie. I don't know where she's going. So, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we'll do a Pokemon. Hopefully, she's okay. No one robbed, like, stole the car from her. Or maybe she forgot to crack a window. And it got too hot. Um, we're, I'm going to just touch base with Gracie real quick. And I'll see you guys on the other end of this break. Oh, what a great ad, Brett. Thank you so much. And welcome back to the show. Yep. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yep. So Gracie had to go from her car office where she was doing the show from uh she was arrested for being too fly no um her computer did or i mean computer listen to me talk well it's kind of a computer her phone needed to do a security update so we lost gracie she ain't coming back uh at least until next week or whenever whenever is whenever so until then we're just going to continue on because I promised you a Pokemon. And God damn it, you're going to get one. So here we go to do the thing now. Any second. Number 289, it's Slaking. Sla- or Slacking? Slacking or Slaking? Slacking or Slaking? I don't know. Slaking is a Pokemon that looks just like me, giving off those powerful dad, lazy dad vibes. Like, leave me alone, son. Daddy doesn't have enough cigarettes to deal with all your problems at school. Um, it evolves from Vigoroth starting at level 36 and is the final form of Slakoff, which was where we will start. Slakoff! The Slacker Pokemon. It's an adorable, perfect Pokemon-ass Pokemon. I mean, if there's a Pokemon that says, I'm a Pokemon, it's this one. A Slacoth is a sloth. Is a, a, scla- a sloth? Is a sloth. He's very tired. Slacoth lulls around for over 20 hours every day because it moves so little it does not need much food. 
Its sole daily meal consists of just three leaves. Interesting. Heart beats just once a minute. Whatever happens, it is content to loaf around motionless. It is rare to see it in motion. So it's like essentially cruel to make them do stuff like battle, I, I imagine. Uh, it sleeps virtually all day and night long. It doesn't change its nest its entire life, but it sometimes travels great distances by swimming in rivers. Okay. I invite you to look up a YouTube video of a sloth swimming. It's quite neat. It sleeps for 20 hours every day, making drowsy, making drowsy those line. What? Making drowsy those that see it is one of its abilities. Making drowsy those that see it is one of its abilities. Come on, guys. Come on, fire red, leaf green. You could have done better than that. I know y'all took English or whatever. It spends nearly all of its time in a day sprawled out. Just seeing it makes one drowsy. The way it lulls around makes anyone who watches it feel like doing the same. It spends nearly all its time sprawled out. Ah, yeah, I already said that. Kind of like, uh, kind of like me, on a nice hot summer day, just sprawled out, letting the bits breathe. Yep, I told you this Pokemon is based on me. Decent shiny, standard pink. It is one of the fourteen Pokemon that could collect foreign Pokedex entries. That one could collect foreign Pokedex entries in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, as its name implies. Appears to be based on sloths. <gasps> Sorry, I was shocked for a moment. I had no clue. Figaroth! Figaroth is the wild monkey Pokemon, so he turned from a sloth to a monkey for some reason. Pretty fucking stupid. Um, but Vigoroth, however, is a serious murder boy. Just those claws and its hyper attitude, it would fuck you up. If there's one Pokemon you don't want ripping your face off, it's this one. Uh, Vigoroth is always itching and agitated to go on a wild rampage. It simply cannot tolerate sitting for even a minute. This Pokemon stress level rises if it can't be moving constantly. Okay, so... <sighs> Violence is the answer. Vigoroth is simply incapable of remaining still. Even when it tries to sleep, the blood in its veins grows agitated. Compelling this Pokemon to run wild throughout the jungle before it can settle down. It can't sit still because its blood boils with energy. It runs through the fields and mountains all day to calm itself. If it doesn't, it can't sleep at night. And it's always hungry because it won't stop rampaging. Even while it is eating, it can't keep it it can't keep still. Okay, it can't keep still. Fire red leaf green, who hurt you? Its heart beats at a tenfold tempo, so it cannot sit still for even a moment. Its stress level rises if it cannot keep moving. Too much stress makes it feel sick. It could also be the massive heart attack it's about to have. Um, again, shiny is just meh. It's kind of like a tan or just an off-white. Because the only ability Vigoroth can have is Vital Spirit, it was impossible to tuck in as impossible to tuck in a Vigoroth into the Pokemon Dream World while it was available. Vigoroth seems to be based on sloths, specifically two toad sloths and ground sloths. So there you go. There you go. It ain't a wild monkey. You're a wild monkey. I, I, I said it, and I'm not sad that I did. Slaking, the lazy Pokemon. Well, that's just judgmental. Uh, Slaking looks exactly like Brett, the host of somewhat popular podcast pokemon after dark rye that's not that's not very nice not very nice at all um slacking slacking spends all day laying around laying down and rolling around it eats grass growing within its reach if it eats all the grass it can reach, it reluctantly moves to another spot. Wherever it lives, rings of over a yard in diameter appear in grassy fields. They are made by the Pokemon as it eats all the, all the grass within reach while lying pro on the ground. Hordes of slacking gather around trees when fruits come into season. 
They wait around patiently for ripened fruits to fall out of the trees. And it is the world's most slothful Pokemon. It's a sloth. However, it can exert horrifying power by releasing pent-up energy all at once. Hello. Hello. Hi, Mom. Hi. What, what are you doing? I'm sleeping. You're sleeping? Yeah, you, it at 9 o'clock? You called me. Yeah, it's 9. It's 8.57 p.m. actually. You have three more minutes before you can go to sleep. That's incorrect, Mother. That would imply that I called you while I was doing the podcast. Why would I do such a thing? I don't know. You gotta tell me. Have a good podcast. Mama. It is the world's laziest Pokemon when it is lounging. It is actually saving energy for striking back. Mom, what do you think of Slot King? What do I think about it? I think it's awesome. Well, I think he's kind of useless in Pokemon Go, isn't he? I What? You, you were breaking up there. I didn't understand any of that. Is the sloth king that looks like a gorilla laying on its side? That is correct. It's a sloth. No, I don't like that one. No, you don't like that one? It has a terrible shiny. Slacking has several similarities to Regigigas. They are both normal types, have hindering abilities, truant and slow start, have the highest base attack stat of all normal type Pokemon, and have the same base stat totals. The pre-alpha sketch from the development of capsule monsters depicts a Pokemon that bears a slight resemblance to Slacking. And Slaking has the highest base stat, po- stat total of all Pokemon, excluding legendaries, mythical, and mega evolutions. Are you kidding? He has high stats? He's got super high stats. He's just slow oh, as hell. Just start powering up. I no, no, you don't want to just start powering him up, Mom, because he doesn't have a, a, a fast attack. Oh. His fast attack deals zero damage and just charges his... He's oh, good for, like, like, you put him in gems. He's really annoying to deal with in gems. There you go. Mom, Brett. um, do you want to do uh, uh, uh do a do a slacking joke and I'll let you leave. Do a slacking joke. Or a slacoth knock, knock. or a vigoroth. Knock knock. Who's there? Pla. Pla. Pla who? Pla who? Is a pla. Oh, Slot King. That's not even a joke, Mom. I love you. Bye. I said it wrong. I said it wrong. Knock, knock. Who's there? Slaw. Slaw who? Slaw. <laughs> okay. All right. You, you got me because he's lazy. I get it. That's very That's very good. Thank you. Bye. Uh, good old, good old Mom. Oh, way to save the back end of the show, Mom, and hello to you. And thank you so much for listening to this show, Pokemon After Dark Rye. Oh, you know, I don't need to say all the stuff, but um, check out my other show, Jaws Breakers. Um, we recently watched a little movie called Sharktopus versus Whale Wolf, and it's as and good, it's as awesome as it sounds. So check out that podcast. And uh, yeah, follow Gracie on Twitter at Lady Z Rain. Follow me on Twitch on TTV slash Breaker is Dead. One word. Um, I'm on my quest to 100. I'm, I'm so close. And uh, yeah, follow us on Twitter at After Dark Ride. Hope you have a great day and an even better weekend. And uh, it's, it's Tuesday when you're listening to this, so I don't know how, how good that is, but. Um... <sighs> You know, I, I would I would just do the thing and and end the show, but um, I'm just too lazy. Oh, get it? Um, Vigoroth sounds like a drug that you, uh, see a commercial for on like early, like morning, like quote unquote news shows that are actually just entertainment shows that don't actually cover much news. Um, and it, it has like about approximately 20, 
uh, side effects and you must consult your doctor, but you really, really want it so that you can get a hard PP. Um, that's what Vigoroth sounds like. Like take th three Vigoroths a day is all you need to tighten up your prostate and, uh, and, 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 and give her the, the sensation she's always deserved. <laughs> if you catch our, catch our, uh, catch our penis. Um, yeah yeah we'll 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 end on that one mm -hmm. and uh after you no i'll do that uh, after after you're just too lazy to think of something dark right will uh uh be too lazy to do something <laughs>